Namaste friends, today in my chat show we're going to be understanding about healthy eating. Welcome to my chat show, Sweely. Well, thank you for having me. It's really nice to be here amongst the plants. As a child, were you always eating healthy or you also enjoyed eating junk food? Well, as a child, I didn't even know there was a difference between what was healthy and what was junky. I just put things into my mouth that tasted good. And you know what? A lot of what tasted good was junk food. Oh, it was terrible. I know. So I started making a point to get a little bit more, um, a little bit more information about what was healthy for me when I hit around 13 years old. I like to eat healthy food. I don't like gummies and cakes, but my sisters love to eat junk food. Tell us about your book. What inspired you to write a book? Well, what inspired me to write the book was to give people a very easy book to read about nutrition tips. And that's why I called it 10 Easy Habits of Eating Well, Being Well. Because I remembered when I was 13 years old, all the way to the time I was in my mid-twenties, a lot of the information out there was very technical, or was very confusing, and there were a lot of fad, junky diets. So I wanted people to get back to the basics of good nutrition that would keep them in good health for a long, long time. Wow, okay. you're, really, you're really helpful to help other people oh, to, get, to get better oh. and everything. Okay. My mom always gives us a teaspoon of this tasteful fish oil, bleh, which I dislike the most, and says it's food for brain. Is it true, Sweeline, that children should take fish oil? You know those fish oils are really, really good for you, right? Because they make your brain work a little bit smarter and better. They help you focus and have better concentration. And it's been even known to lift your mood. Yeah, so it's and it's also good for your heart and then giving you strong joints, your joints and great skin. So fish oil is really good for you. You've got a really good mommy trying to give you fish oils. Even though it tastes like blah, blah, blah. I know, <laughs> but sometimes, um, if I take fish oil, I kind of feel as though I need some water with it because, you know. It doesn't taste good, right? Yeah, but it's actually good for your brain. That's right. One of the reasons. That's right. Which is your favorite country for family holiday? Uh, my favorite country for family holidays is Australia. I huh? haven't been to Australia before, okay. but I would love to go there. Okay. Well, I love Australia because the food is really fresh. They've got a lot of terrific farms there. And you get a wide variety of flavors and types of cuisines in the restaurants. And um, the climate, the weather, there's lots of outdoor nature parks that we can visit as well, and farms. So I love doing Australia with my son. I've always wanted to go to Australia. Okay, time to ask mommy. Who is your role model? That was a really good question. And right now, when I look back on my life, I think one of the role models I really have is my dad. Because uh, my dad was always just a, a really nice, kind, easygoing guy. He was really smart. He provided well for the family, even after World War II. He grew up in that era. And one of the biggest lessons I learned from him is the importance of accepting things and forgiving people easily. So can I tell you a little bit more about that? Yes. Yeah. So you see, my dad grew up in Singapore when um, Singapore was occupied by the Japanese during World War II. And while a lot of people remember lots of bad memories about the war, he remembers sometimes some of the soldiers living near his home were not that much older. They are like maybe 17, 18 years old and they would play with him sometimes. And on occasion, you know, food was really scarce during the war. They would actually share some of their rice and eggs with him. And he would eat together with them. And this is an amazing story because his own dad was um, captured and killed by the Japanese during the war. But growing up in the house with my parents, I've never heard him say a bad word about any other group or race. And I think the spirit of being able to forgive people is just really important, yeah? It's yeah. really, really beautiful. Yeah. He's a good guy. When I grow up, what do I need to study to become a nutritionist? Well, there are lots of good um, technical courses in universities that will offer a course in nutrition or nutritional sciences. 
But before taking that step forward, I think one of the things you can explore is um, when you're in high school, study biology, study chemistry. Biology to learn how the human body works and chemistry to learn how um, different molecules and things will interact with the body, right? Because that's actually what nutrition is about, learning how what we eat is going to help us rebuild brain cells, body cells, skin cells, and everything else in our body, or it's going to kind of hurt us, you know? Like if we eat junk food, we don't really want to look like a junk heap, do we? Right? We don't no, we don't, right? Well, in our school, we're also learning about brains. brains. Yes. Like, because our brain heads the whole body. Yeah. Like, is like the main character in the whole body who even controls us how to speak and t tell us if this is hot, this is cold, and tell us to touch, smell, or feel. Right. Your brain does everything for yeah. you. And without the brain, you would kind of turn into a human vegetable, right? Mm -hmm. mm. So, with that, are you going to keep taking your mummy's fish oils? Yes. <laughs> okay. Now I think that's really important. <laughs> okay, good mommy for getting you the fish oils. And good for you for being committed to taking your fish oils. My last question. What advice would you have for us children? I think the advice I would have for you guys is to live life fully and never be afraid of making mistakes of failure. So if you do something and it doesn't quite go the way you wanted it to be, don't say, I failed or I made a mistake. Just say, well, that didn't go how I planned. What am I going to learn from it now? And so that I never make the same mistake again, right? Don't beat yourself up, but pick yourself up, learn from it, and keep going. Thank you for the lovely message that you've actually told us all. That, that was really beautiful. Thank Aww. you. You're welcome. Friends, I hope you learned about healthy eating as I did in my chat show. For further information about the book, please log on to www.sweelylim.com.